What's up? I'm Zach from Render Effects, and here are three fast and easy mask effects in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Our first effect is the shirt color change effect. First, film yourself wearing a solid color. Be mindful to avoid other objects in the shot with the same color. Perform an action such as pulling on your shirt to signal when the clothing color will change. Next, import your footage into Final Cut Pro. At the point of the action, create a cut in your clip. Then, add a hue and saturation curves adjustment to the clip before the cut. Use the color picker tool above the hue versus hue curve to select the color of the shirt. Adjust the hue control point to change the color of your shirt. You may need to expand the range of colors by adjusting the control points. If the new color is too vibrant, lower the saturation using the hue versus saturation curve. Finally, to create a smooth transition from one color to another, Add a cross dissolve transition spanning three frames. Now onto effect numero dos is the snap transformation effect. For this, you need to record a scene with the final object. In our case, cookies. Start by pretending as though the initial object is in front of you, in our case, spinach. Do a snapping gesture and react as though the spinach has instantly transformed into cookies. Then interact with the final object. Next, replace the cookies with the spinach in the exact same location. Now exit the frame. In Final Cut Pro, make a cut on the snap action. Then place the shot of the initial object over top of the footage of you snapping, spanning from the beginning of the scene until the snap. Use the draw mask effect to cut around the initial object. Next, highlight both the clip of the initial object and the first half of the snapping clip. With both clips selected, create a compound clip. Now, double click on the compound clip to open it. In this expanded view, extend each clip by an additional 5 frames. Close the compound clip to return to your main timeline. From here, enhance the effect by adding a morph transition between the two items. Specifically, use the flow transition set to span over 3 frames. Ensure that the starting point of this transition aligns with the moment right after your snap. If you or your business is looking to work with us for your video editing needs, our inbox is open. From corporate videos to VFX to social media, we would love to work with you. Finally, for our third effect, we have the hit by a car effect. Start by recording two separate shots. The first shot should be of you acting as if you're being hit by a car. The second should be of a car passing by. Back in Final Cut Pro, use the shot of the car as your base clip. If the car is moving slow, speed it up to your desired speed. You may need to add motion blur to this shot if sped up a significant amount. We have a free motion blur plugin linked in the description. Now, overlay the footage of you acting as if you're being hit and align this clip with the car shot. To assist with alignment, adjust the top clip's opacity to 50% and then return it to 100% once the shots are synced. At the point of impact, trim the end of the top clip and add a freeze frame. Apply the draw mask effect to the freeze frame and cut out the subject. Click on transform and keyframe the freeze frame adjusting the position and rotation, moving it along the hood of the car. Delete the excess part of the clip after the subject exits the frame. Then, add the directional effect and adjust the blur's amount and direction to match the car's motion. Now, add a draw mask to the first part of the top clip. On the last frame, draw a mask around your subject, allowing for the car to be revealed. Add a keyframe on the draw mask and move back a few frames, and then expand the mask. And there we have it, three mask effects, fast and easy. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out our tutorial on the flash super speed effect in Final Cut Pro. We'll see you next week, peace.